Hello, it's Bishop Walsh here on Wednesday, September 13th, and I'm in Prudenville at Our Lady of the Lake School, here to celebrate the Holy Mass with the students and faculty and administration here. And looking forward to spending time with our young people and maybe even doing a little video uh, addition to this Wednesday announcement today. Uh, so I'm happy to be traveling around and uh, being part of the, the school's activities once again as they start a new school year. Um, I'll, later on today, I'll be back in Gaylord. There's uh, the audit that is taking place and it happens every three years for our safe environment. So I want to thank Julie Earhart, our chancellor, for organizing all of the important interviews that are taking place and the ways that we are making sure that we comply with all the important aspects of the, the Dallas Charter and the ongoing efforts of our church to make sure that we have safe environments in our parishes and our schools. Uh, there's going to be a director of parish life meeting coming up uh, this week as well. We have seven directors of parish life, one, uh, two that have recently left and one new addition, uh, Deacon Scott Lindane out in Rogers City, newly appointed director of parish life. Uh, so I thank everyone involved with, uh, with that model of parish leadership, where there's a director of parish life, a sacramental minister, and a moderator, and all those who help um, continue with the leadership and the pastoral care of our parishes. Um, we have uh, also um, interviews that are ongoing for our development director. We have a couple of uh, fine candidates, so we're excited about that possibility. It's a very important part of uh, the, the diocesan outreach and the important way, especially for the Catholic services appeal, uh, to make sure we continue um, with the positive momentum for all the ways that we need to fund the mission of the, the church. So our development director position, continue to pray that um, we land on the right person for that position. Uh, we have our Diocesan Pastoral Council meeting coming up on Saturday. Again, I thank all the members of that council. They come from all over the diocese. And uh, we continue just to look at the different aspects of the life of the diocese, get their input, and uh, be able to have ongoing visioning and planning for the diocese. Uh, Sunday, I'll be in Peshawbi Town. Looking forward to celebrating Mass there. Uh, that's one of the designated uh, parishes where we have for our Native American community and uh, Sister Sue Gardner uh, takes good care of that parish community as a director of parish life. And uh, the rest of the week, uh, actually on Sunday evening, I'll be making my way down to Chicago. There's going to be a meeting of all the bishops that are connected with ex uh, Catholic Extension. And in the Diocese of Gaylord, we are considered a mission diocese and Extension is an organization that helps fund so many of the important uh, projects and uh, staffing for uh, our mission diocese. There's a myriad of ways that they have over time uh, contributed to the good of the Diocese of Gaylord and so many other dioceses. Uh, so it's an opportunity for us to work with the executive director, Father Wall, and uh, just network and continue to uh, describe what our needs are and how they can help us. And it's just been a wonderful organization that gets funded from so many other generous benefactors and donations that come to help Mission Diocese. So I look forward to that time um, connecting with uh, Catholic Extension. So a few other things that hopefully are continue to be on uh, the radar. The pedal and praise is the, the next thing I'm, I know I'm excited about as part of the Eucharistic Revival. And it's an opportunity to bike on the Tark Trail between uh, Traverse City and up to North uh, Sutton's Bay. And uh, so if you enjoy biking, check that out. I know we already have a good number of people who are signed up for that. And also we look forward to uh, the priest convocation. So that is an opportunity for us to gather as priests and um, reflect on the life of uh, priesthood and uh, just take time for prayer and for uh, opportunities to listen to our, our keynote speaker and some wisdom that we can incorporate into our ministry.
Okay, these are preschool students ready to eat their chicken nuggets and tater tots and the prayer before meal. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these are gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty, Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. Here's our first grade class. What are you having today? Juice. Are you having nuggets? Are they good? What else do you have? A sandwich? I have a sandwich. And candy? Oh, a chocolate bar. What are you having? <laughs> and? Oh, very good. What are you having today? It's um, banana and chicken nuggets. Oh, that's going to be delicious. Do you have a pair of sneakers in there? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's some candy. Hi, everyone. How is everyone doing? Want to say hello to everyone at home? Hello. This is our lunch period students who are here to eat their chicken nuggets and their tater tots and everybody's getting Sam a good pet Yay! hey this is the third grade class and they are going to pray the Hail Mary Okay, this is the fourth and fifth grade class singing the seventh song. This is sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and they're going to offer this prayer. Thank you for checking in and God bless.